Welcome to the second class in building your custom image segmentation models in Python. So in the previous lesson, I showed you this particular image. And you might be wondering, why am I comfortable showing you this image? Where did I get it from? In fact, I got it from uh, ImageNet. So ImageNet comprises of a bunch of Creative Commons images as, uh, that you can download using URL. So that particular photo was from this set and also a whole bunch of bounding boxes that you can use. Uh, in this particular class, I'm not really interested in using ImageNet or in terms of showing you how to use ImageNet. I'll leave that uh, for an exercise that um, you can figure out. But rather what I want to show you is if you had your own custom label, uh, your own set of images, how could you use that in order to uh, build up this image classification? So. I'm going to use label image and there are instructions on this particular GitHub repository in terms of how you can install it. On a Linux machine, it's actually quite straightforward. You can just do a pip install and it will just work out of the box. So if you do that, you'll be greeted with a screen that looks like this. So um, I've dumped all the images in temp and I've opened it in temp and you can see that I've got a whole bunch of images here. Um, and Label images is quite straightforward. There's different file formats you can use to create. Uh, to use it with Detecto, I'm going to use um, this particular save format. And um, if you just want to build a bounding box, it's quite straightforward. Uh, all you have to do is um, you just go to the image that you're interested in. So for example, this one, and it already has some um, objects um, bounded because uh, this, this was actually taken from one of the open source um, data sets. But let's, if we pick, say, this particular picture, we can um, create a new box like so, and we can give it a category. So I can call it a piano, all right? And that's, that's what you have to do. You just go through all the images um, and do that. And of course you can, a, a single picture can have multiple labels. So for example, this can be a piano and this, Next to it is a person, all right? So, and really that's all there is. I'm, I'm sure that uh, in terms of the expectation, you was probably supposed to be a lot more um, precise with our bounding boxes and consistent. But um, just for the sake of demonstrating this, I just want to do it uh, pretty rough and quickly, uh, rough and ready just to show you that this works. Right, so I'm um, just going through a few more examples. Do a person, and of course, if we make a mistake, we can always change it, like so. Right, and then we can, um, of course, save. So I'm going to save them here, and um, you, and when you save it, you will notice that it will save as an XML file. Right, so once you've done that, the, the next question is, how do I consume all of this data? and throw it into my image pipeline. And we'll go through that in the next lesson.